It's time for the UAC Two Minute Turn Up, brought to you by Victory Rings. Excellence is the standard. I'm your host, Kendra Sheehan. Last week, West Georgia opened up their Division One era with a 38-29 win over Samford. Head coach Joel Taylor said their debut dub was one for the books. It was a tremendous experience. Uh, I think it was a great day for the University of West Georgia. I think it was a great day for the city of Carrollton. Uh, but it was an even better day for our football team uh, to get a chance to see those guys go out there and work and uh, to accomplish something together. Uh, I, think it, I thought it was huge, man. We faced some adversity. Guys didn't blink. And for him to have those type of plays, he's not only winning the hearts of you guys, he's winning the hearts of the, of the offensive line, the running backs, things of that nature, man. And for him today and going, you know, put his head down and get those first downs for us was huge in the game. Uh, he also uh, scored a touchdown with his legs as well, man. But uh, Davin Widener's future here is going to be very, 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 very good. You know, sometimes when you win a game like that, or if you win a game, or if you win a championship even, you know, you feel like, oh God, it's done, oh God. You know, um, and that's not the attitude to have. Uh, you know, anytime you win um, anything in life, right, you gotta raise the bar the next week or the next time you do something. Um, so that's what we wanna do. We wanna raise the bar um, um, each and every week. And, uh, you know, we wanna go one and oh the next week, which is versus Abilene Christian. Um, but I do think our guys will walk into that, uh, that, that, um, that stadium with a whole bunch of confidence. West Georgia will head to Abilene to take on the Wildcats, a 7 p.m. Central Time kickoff on ESPN+. For the UAC, I'm Kendra Sheehan.